How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So there's one item that I particularly put in my bug out bag that I don't really see anybody else doing or utilizing. So maybe I just haven't researched hard enough or anything, but I figured I would share that with you and the mindset of why I put this simple piece of gear that can be a tremendous help, but no one else is really doing it. Maybe someone else is. Someone in the comments is definitely gonna let me know. But the, the simple item is literally just an extra ultra light bag of some kind. And there's many, many uses, which I will discuss in my mindset of having just something smaller with some backpack straps. And it's very easy to get, but the benefits literally outweigh the weight because these things are extremely lightweight. So this is made by EOG gear. You don't have to go with this. This is the one that I just chose to go with because it works fairly well. So this is intentionally designed as a sensitive site exploitation bag or like picking up intel or items in the military if you're like raiding a specific location. Because most of the time us military folk are pretty maxed out or don't have a lot of space on our play carrier. We have mission specific gear. So this is meant to be like stuffed in to something really small like a cargo pocket or a dump pouch or something like that. And if you do come upon stuff, you can immediately whip this out and just start throwing hard drives and you know, maps or whatever it is inside this pack. Well, the same mindset can go with your get home bag, your bug out bag or your Minuteman kit. Because if you come upon extra gear or food or water or you procure some or you buy some or barter with someone on your journey or something like that or extra water, where are you going to put it in your bag? Most people max out their packs. I wouldn't recommend that, but once you get to a certain amount, how do you expand your pack to be larger? Now something easy as this, you can you know stuff a whole bunch of items into but then also attaching it to your pack. So this one has, you know, clips and whatnot that you can clip into your pack if necessary. Or what I use is shock cord. I use pretty heavy duty shock cord around all of my packs. So if I would stuff a whole bunch of items inside here and I'm like, well, I can't fit it in my bag. I'm just gonna put it in here, right? And then it just kind of condenses itself and now you have extra space. Because you can always go down in space by like consuming your food or water or discarding gear. But how do you plus up in a way in space if you need to? Now I get it, that might add extra weight. Some of you probably aren't about that. They're like, no, I'm, not, I'm never gonna add extra weight. But you may stumble into a good opportunity that you have extra gear or items. Or if you are with a coworker or a friend and something happens and you have your pack, you're ready to go but your coworker has literally nothing, you know, or your friend, so you could hand this out to them. Go, hey, here, here's a couple of bottles of water, stuff like that, here's a little bit of food. You carry your own weight uh, upon like our journey or whatever, then we can start filling it with other items. Because it's a pain if you just are carrying stuff in your hands and that's all you have. So something like that is easily um, doable, especially lightweight. They make another one as well over here. This is a C to Summit ultra sill day pack. This thing's like one and a half ounces or one ounces and it expands out the same way. These are fairly easy to get. Um, I know the EOG ones, these ones are pretty expensive. These are like 60, $65, somewhere around in there, plus shipping, so it's another 10. But then these ones are like in the $30 mark. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do with. I don't get any kickbacks anyways. Uh, maybe this one, if you use my link in the Amazon or use my Amazon link, I might get a few cents off of it. But no, I have no affiliation with C to Summit. They have no idea I'm doing this video. I just always think it's a good idea to add an extra pack and it doesn't even have to be these brands. Just if you have something that works ultra lightweight, just run it. And then if you don't like this idea at all and say, I'd never do that, that's fine too. Everybody's environment and situation is different. You may like this idea, you may not, that's fine. Run with what works for you. I'm just trying to give ideas and you know, other items that I have used that I don't really see other people using. So I'm just trying to get that information out there. So if you guys like this kind of stuff and want to see more, you know, definitely hit like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And also there is PayPal and Patreon if you really want to contribute. Just a simple like and subscribe definitely helps out quite a bit. But other than that, I hope you all have a great day.